Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, I'm Brenna. I'm the owner and creator of Brenna M Co on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, all that good stuff. So today we are sewing 200 towel scrunchies. Knowing me, it'll probably be more than 200 because I got a lot to do. But we're gonna get started. The street fair is coming up in six days. I have to set up my booth in five days. It is currently Saturday at 11.19 a.m. We're gonna get started on cutting up the towels. So far, what we have for stock is this. I think there might be like 20, maybe less that we have. And my goal is to fill this entire thing. It's a giant tub, as you can see, but we gotta fill this entire thing and put all of the cute little tags on them. But yeah, so let's cut up some towels. All right, we have our towels all cut up. It's a big box. I think we cut up about 10 towels. And I still have a lot more to cut up. But, so this should be about 80-ish towel scrunchies in here. So now we're gonna get to sewing. This might be weird to some, but I use a trash bag. I cut it down each side and then I put the little this thing like you tie the bag for um, around my neck so then all the fuzzies don't get all over me it's one of my pet peeves I hate all of like the I wouldn't call it dust it's like the little we're just gonna call it beads little beads of the towel scrunchies so make sure though when you do this you're cutting on the same side or else you cut on different sides uh, the little tie thing won't stay around your neck so I just do this front okay don't cut the bottom though we want that and now we're gonna do the other side And you're only cutting the top half. So now you should be able to split it. Lay this over your work area. I like to have it be like covering my full work area so that any of the little fuzzies that come off of the towel scrunchies will fall onto this. And then now you have like a little pocket. So you can just throw your threads in there that you cut off and see this is still attached to here so then you just kind of scrunch this and pull this out like so put it on your head and now it's like you have like a little bib um you can after you get it around your neck i like to just kind of pull it out a little bit so then you can get to more and it stays kind of up close i know i look stupid but Honestly, I love this trick. You can use any size garbage bag. This is just the biggest one I have. I think it's like the 13 tall gallon size. 
Uh, but yeah. So, and it smells good. It has like that scent thing. But now I'm just gonna put my sewing machine on right here and I'm gonna get to sewing. Okay, so it's currently 2.50, and I'd say we got a decent amount done for the time, but then again, not really. Telescringes are just kind of hard to sew because they're like so thick, and they take a little bit, but we've done some progress. So obviously, like, the box was filled, so we've done like a decent amount. And this is what we have done so far. I would say this amount is not bad for how long it's been. So I just counted them and we have 21 loops done. Obviously still gotta put the last again and close them up. But we have 21 done so far, which I don't think is that bad for two hours. Uh, I've also gotten distracted a little bit and I had lunch but I don't think that's that bad and I'm doing pretty good my back's not hurting yet my hands not hurting yet I mean it was a little bit from the scissors but I think overall we're making great progress and yeah we'll check back in All right, so it is now 5.43, and we have 33 of these loops done. Um, I keep getting distracted, because like, I watch Netflix while I sew, and I keep getting distracted paying attention to the show or movie that I'm watching, and then I don't sew. So I think that's my big issue going on here. Don't really know. I also, um, this is my third coffee. So here's to being up all night. And then now I'm just kind of having a diet Mountain Dew. Um, but you might notice that, Brenna, what happened to your nails? In the last clip, you had nails. Well, um, I've been very anxious today. I don't know why. But I've been very anxious, and so I ripped them off. So, I'll have to redo those maybe tomorrow. Uh, but, I don't know why I'm anxious. It just happens sometimes. But, we are going to keep sewing. I still got a lot more to go. I still have to cut more and sew those. And, I forgot to get the color white. So, I might have to go to the store and get white. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. We'll see how long this takes us. Maybe we'll get it all done tonight. <laughs> That's not happening. <laughs>
We have a little helper in the office today. But I just finished doing all the tubes. There's so many, like, it's ridiculous. I finished the entire box. You guys should be proud. I didn't just stop. But now I need to clean up because this is a mess. Look at, okay, you can barely tell in this, but I swear it's messy everywhere. And this table is also a mess. It has a fuzz all over it. You can't really tell, but it does. It is currently 11 p.m. I'm going to clean up and then I think I'm going to start doing the elastic because I kind of want to get these done tonight even if I don't get done till 1 a.m. I didn't go and get white towels but I should have a decent amount still left in the bucket so I'm just going to leave those. They're not really my top seller. It's more of the colors that are top sellers so I mean if I sell out of them, I sell out, I'll eventually make more but I think that's what we're going to do for now. I do need to get lavender because that's a pretty popular color. But I think I'm just going to go with what we have as of now and call it good. So I'm going to clean up and then we're going to start getting on the elastic through these and sewing the seams shut. Also, this pile of them and then this entire bag is full. This is my sewing machine bag. But... It's literally full. It's way overflowing. But we're going to get onto these after I clean. Alright, so it is the next day, obviously. I just showered, got up. I did sew clothes and put elastic in like 11 of them last night. And then I was just too tired and I was like, okay, I need to go to bed. So today's the day that we finish them. I think we can get them done in a couple hours. Uh, I don't know if that's including the tags or not. But I guess we'll see. But... Yeah, we're gonna finish elasticing and sewing the seam shut. So it's currently 120. This is how much I have done. It doesn't look like a lot because it's in a big bucket, but it's a pretty good amount. And I'm like a fourth of the way done with the bag. I finished everything that was on the side. I did take a 15 minute break for lunch, but I got my second coffee of the day. And we're just gonna keep on sewing. I'm actually feeling good. Last time I sewed scrunchies for 24 hours, pretty much, um, I felt dead. I felt dead inside, and I was tired. But I think the coffee's really helping, which might not be a good thing. But I'm feeling a lot better this time around. I don't know. I don't know what it is about sewing towel scrunchies right now. Like, I just feel better than doing regular scrunchies. But we're going to get sewing the rest. Hopefully we get these done in like two hours I'm thinking but I'll keep you guys updated.
We're in the home stretch! Okay guys, so we have officially finished all of the towel scrunchies. Here are the colors that we got done, just in case you guys didn't see all of them. It's the beautiful like pale yellow, light pink, sage green, light blue, and gray. Sage green is new, so make sure you check out the website for that after the street fair. It will be uploaded. But all in all, I honestly don't think it took us that much time to sew 88 towel scrunchies in the time that we sewed 180 regular scrunchies, which I feel like towel scrunchies are way harder to sew than regular scrunchies because there's a lot of like pulling and pushing just because of the thick fabric. I think total it took us 16 hours if I'm just calculating like from times that I sewed and everything. Well, if you guys like this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Follow me on all my socials to keep up to date on what's coming to Brenna Co. I hope you guys love this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys!